Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. Whew, what a busy weekend it's been, but I could not let it go by without capturing this very, very special day on my channel. Of course, today here in the UK is Father's Day, and I absolutely love these special occasions, these special treasured times when we get to really give thanks and we get to celebrate those incredible people in our lives. Now, I have been blessed in this life with parents. I truly, truly have, and with all my heart, I love my parents so very, very much. They're my best friends. They're the most incredible people. I love them so much. They're the most amazing parents. And today is Father's Day. And yeah, I wanted to just capture on my channel that I've got an amazing dad and I absolutely love him and he means the world to me. And a very, very happy Father's Day to you, Dad. And I love you worlds over. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's, uh, Words fail me of what to say when it comes to my parents. It really, really does. I always try to do my best for them. I always try to look out for them. Um, I always try to be there. Um, and I always like to be involved. I always like to be involved. I always like to be with my parents. I, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm doing anything, I always like their opinion. I like their viewpoint. Um, they're so... They just want to know. Do you know what I mean? All the time. They're so caring. They're so... Just ultimately how you would want your mum and dad to be all the time and I've been truly truly blessed and they're absolutely incredible people they really really are um they have such an amazing relationship my parents and this year they have been they are uh, very shortly in July will be celebrating their 40th wedding anniversary and I just think that's testament to the amazing people and their incredible relationship they have um as I say in my prayers, all the time, I thank the Lord above that he blessed me with the incredible parents which I have. Um, and my dad, yeah, absolutely. My dad, all throughout his life, has worked incredibly hard. And he provided me an absolutely incredible upbringing. Um, I got to see some incredible places around the world and holidays. Um, my mum and dad worked together to provide the most incredible, unforgettable uh, childhood. Um, life growing up as a teenager and now... And I'm through this now, thankfully, but the health problems and things I've had and the operations and things I've had, and I've had quite a few, unfortunately, um, just a bit of a taste. And I've had my groin reconstructed through one particular surgery, which didn't go right. Um, I've had a, a lot of problems, a lot of issues. And without my parents, I don't know how I'd have got through it all. I really, really don't. Nothing is ever too much trouble for either my mum or my dad. And do you know what? Even sometimes before I think about it, mum and dad have preempted every kind of situation if it was to go bad, if it was to go right. <laughs> if it's if it's a good thing, if it's a bad thing, they're there. They want to know all the time how I've done. They want to know what I'm up to. They want to know. They have that real genuine love and interest. And do you know what? Sometimes in this world, I look around and it's, it's so easy to take things for granted, especially special people in our lives. And sometimes I look around and I think to myself, and even just from people who I've known, and even some of my friends, that actually some of their parents really don't have that interest there. They don't have that level of care. Yes, they love them, but they don't have that interest to want to know what they're up to, how they're feeling, how something makes them feel, how they're coping, if they're having a bit of a down day. My parents always want to know. They always want to know. They always want to be there. They want to know how I feel. They want to always try and make me feel better. They want to know everything about everything. They want to be there. They want to support. They want to nurture. They want to take care. And you know what? Even when I'm having a bit of a down day, they want to know why. They want to know what they can do to put that smile back on my face. And I'm just so incredibly blessed. I really, really am. I love my parents so, so much. My father, he has he's an incredible, incredible man. And I always say, if I could turn out to be just an element of how successful my mum and dad are, then that would be fine for me in this life. It truly, truly would be. He was in the uh, Royal Navy. He had a very, very strong career um, there and then left there after many, many years and done incredibly well. And he's a very proud, uh, a, a very, very proud man. And, um, and then he left there, and then he uh, works with helicopters and aircraft, and um, my father is very, very talented, very, very gifted with that. He's worked incredibly hard. Nothing has been given to him. My mum and dad worked incredibly hard. Um, and I will be honest, I have been blessed with a very privileged upbringing in life through their hard work. Um, and I'm so, so proud of them. So, so proud of them. So, so proud of my father. My father is a very proud man. He's stern, traditional, um, would never ever stand any messing around or anything like that at all, almost very regimental, 
And when dad raised his voice and said no, it meant no, it really, really did. Um, but do you know what? Just, it literally, when I mention my parents, it almost literally grounds me speechless. Because I know, no, they say nobody in this life is perfect, but I know to all children, your, your parents are. But for me, truly, and I'll be turning 30, I could just, well, I could just feel the love I have for them and how much they mean to me. Um, I could just cry my eyes out, to be quite honest. And I'm just so fortunate, so lucky, so blessed in this life that the Lord blessed me with incredible parents, as such as my mum and dad. And as I say, my dad, I'm so, so proud of him. Um, and yeah, it's just He's an incredible father and I, and I love him to pieces and a very happy Father's Day to you. And I know you'll be watching this at some point, even if it's months down the road. Growing up, if I had any problems, if it would be that I was finding something difficult at school or planning of what I wanted to do with my life, um, he, he was there. It was never too much trouble. He would always be quite traditional, quite stern. For example, when it came to homework or when it came to expectations or how we should act or how we should speak, he was very... Dad's always very prim and proper, and I think that's that is certainly where I get my elocution from, how I pronounce my words and how I come across and how I hold myself with people. Um, yeah, so he he's taught me an awful lot, awful lot about life and how and how I should be. Um, but at the same time, that sounds all very, very constricted, doesn't it? But it's certainly, certainly not. I know he's right behind me all the way in all my decisions. He supports me. He just wow to be quite honest with you wow nothing is ever too much trouble if i've ever needed him for absolutely anything at all he is there throughout my operations he was there guidance support and sometimes even just if i'm having a rubbish day i remember actually when i went um and i was very very stressed it was my dear nan's funeral who my nan was my world my mum's mum and at the parent table in my life i've been truly blessed by the lord to have my mum my dad and my nan and that's how i class my the parent table for me so i've been truly blessed in this life and i remember um i remember it, it was the it was just before my grandmother's funeral my nan's funeral and i was giving my nan's eulogy and i arranged my nan's funeral with my mum and, um, and I was there throughout her whole journey. And I'm very, very close and very, very dear to my heart, my nan. Um, and as I say, I'm at a parent table and I remember being quite stressed. And my dad, this is just how incredible my dad is. Um, I was, I was pacing outside and, and I, and I was getting myself so nervous and so stressed. And then, do you know, my dad took me aside and do you know, the words, and this is, and this is how I can sum it up. Sometimes just hearing something or a phrase or just their calming yet whole composure of just telling you that it's going to be okay. And actually, you don't need to be worried. You you don't need to fear. You don't need to stress. And just hearing my dad just bring that composure over me and just to give me that warmth and love inside to think that actually dad said it's going to be okay, so it's going to be okay. And you know what? It... it it gave me that clarity. It gave me that ability to come together. It's almost like, because dad was there in that moment, I, I knew I was going to be okay. My mum, very much the same, always. And as I always say, that whenever, because my mum and dad love traveling. And um, for that moment, I will always be very, very grateful to my father. And I have so much to owe to my mum and dad. I really, really do. But in our home and in our family, my mum is the heart and soul of our family in our home. My father, when he's around and when he's home, I just know that everything's always going to be okay. And together, they're everything in this life and in this world. And yeah, to mum and dad, I, I can't imagine I can't imagine life without them. I really can't. They're so, so special. They mean the world to me. And that small snippet I told you about just before my nan's funeral, Dad has so many stories about how he's helped me in this life and how he's helped me get through things. And yeah, my mum and dad are best friends to me. They truly, truly are. And I love these days, Father's Days, Mother's Days, any occasion, whether it be Christmas, whether it be Easter, um, birthdays, you name it. When we come together, we've seen all the nieces and nephew. Um, I've seen my nieces and my nephew this weekend and um, all the kids around and my sister-in-law, my brothers and 
it's just lovely. It's just absolutely lovely. And as I always say, it's for my mum and dad's love why I'm here today and why I get to enjoy this incredible life, this incredible gift, and just enjoy all the blessings in this life. So yes, my mum and dad are incredibly special, and I hope you have an incredible Father's Day. And to anybody who's watching this, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart for joining me with this. And I do hope that you've enjoyed a special Father's Day, and I do hope that your father in your life, your grandfather, your uncle, I hope that you have just as a magical bond as what I do with mine and with my parents. I wish you all of the blessings in this life. I truly, truly do. And do you know what? I just hope that I hope that everybody else has that bond. And I know that a lot of people don't. And and that's why I'm just I'm just in in awe so much of just that the blessings I have received in this life of my parents. And it just means the world to me. It truly, truly does. Um, Father's Day is so, so special. And not, it doesn't mean that you just have to have one day to celebrate those special people in your life. And I know, of course, with some people, their father figure in their life won't, won't necessarily be their father. Sadly, they may not lo no longer have their father. Um, I know my mum, bless her heart, is in that situation. We lost my grandfather uh, many years ago, and I was only very, very young when he died. But just through her eyes, when she talks about him, I can see the love. I can see the, I can see the treasured and cherished heartfeltness there. And it's magical. It's magical. It truly, truly is. And if you're somebody who perhaps your father isn't in your life, or perhaps it's your grandfather, or perhaps it's your uncle, or perhaps it's somebody as a stepfather, or perhaps it's somebody who isn't of a blood relative to you, but they've brought you up as a father, then make sure, please, from the bottom of my heart, that you tell them just how much they mean to you. Show them. Tell them. Never put it off in this life. Never put anything off in this life. Tell them all you want to tell them. Give them a hug. Tell them how special they are. Tell them what they mean to you. Life, when you, when you, when you hear of all the terrible things in this world, life is incredibly short. It's not, because there is so much opportunity in this life and I always say this life is such a blessing. You have to have faith in yourself to reach out and grab it. But for some people, sadly, horrific things happen in this world and nobody ever knows. As I always say, nobody is blessed of tomorrow. So never put off saying anything to your parents, to your loved ones, or whoever is in that father figure of your life or your mother or, or whoever you celebrate today and on days like this. Tell them what you feel. If they mean the world to you, tell them. Never assume that they know. Tell them. On that note, God bless, take very, very good care, and I hope you've had a really great day. And if you're not celebrating Father's Day today, perhaps you're doing it tomorrow or in a couple of days' time. Perhaps you're doing some sort of trip, perhaps you're doing some sort of get-together or a family meal. I hope you enjoy. Cherish parents, grandparents, loved ones. Anybody who's in that situation who's brought you up or anybody who stands in your heart is a parent. Celebrate them, love them, tell them. God bless and take great care. Thank you very much for sharing this clip with me. And until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. God bless. And thanks very much for being here. And take care and tell those people, those special people, just how much they mean. Bye for now.